Hi, everybody. Welcome to Buns and Guns in a different location. So I know you're used to seeing me in my garage, in my uh, gym. Garage is under renovations because uh, the offices that we're using are over top of the garage and they're quite chilly now, so we're doing some uh, insulating. So no, uh, no gym for me. I'm in my usual yoga spot, but this is Buns and Guns. So don't worry. I've also had to do some innovation for this class. So these are my five pound weights. These are my three pound weights. And these bags have cans in them. They're also about three pounds. So I will grab a combination of them as I want to get a little heavier. Maybe that's what you've been doing all along. So uh, nothing can stop us. Our focus is health. Uh, keep moving and even if you don't have weights at all, you can still do all of the moves and use your body weight uh, for resistance. So what I'm not going to do up here is do some running because I'm afraid of my pictures falling off the walls. <laughs> so we're just going to start. If you want to run where you are, please continue that. My movement is going to be going uh, bigger with my motions or depth in my squats. That's how I'm going to get warmed up. So when I'm marching, if you want to jog, go ahead. If I'm doing side jacks and you want to do full jacks, go ahead. Right? So we're just going to move those legs. Maybe you've been sitting all morning. Maybe you have been doing lots of movement up and down, squatting, not sure. Making sure that our arms and legs are going straight forward and back and not doing twisting right now. We might want to do twisting later, but right now it's more forward. Getting those feet side to side, and we start to tap the toes. Bend the knees in the middle as we come up side to side, reaching the arms across as though you're going to try and touch where the ceiling meets the wall. And we're squeezing all the way down the back of our legs. Squeeze down your legs. Get those muscles firing up. Maybe go into a deeper squat as you go side to side. Four, three, two. And now we start to press and we turn the whole foot. We bring the hip with us and it's a big squeeze down the back of the leg. Extend that arm away from your body. Look at those fingers. Four, three, two, last one, let's march again. So whether you're doing high impact or keeping it low like me, your heart rate is likely starting to increase. You're breathing, you might find you're getting a little out of breath or a lot out of breath, depending on what you're doing. Take it wide again. We're going down into wide squats, down and up. So doing the first set of squats, with no weights, just making sure that we're focused on form before we increase intensity. So knees and toes, same direction, chest up, turning sideways. We've got a nice straight back, sending those hips back, making sure the knees don't go over our toes. So I have this mat here to give me some placement, but it seems to be sliding on my rug. <laughs> I might be losing it real soon. Four, squeezing your thighs, squeeze, squeeze. Two, there you go. Bring it up, march it out. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Keep going, march it out. Yeah, four, three. Now I'm gonna do side jacks. You do full jacks if you want. Just a couple of demonstrations. Check out the pictures. Everything's still hanging. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep going. We're landing softly. Knees slightly bent. Full range with the arms. And if I do what I said I was going to do, I'm going to keep it down to a low jack and just step it out. A couple more. Four, three, two, last one. Bring those legs in together into squats with squeezing inner thighs close. Your knees are touching or almost touching. 
pushing them into that direction. Here's the side view. Sitting back, digging in your heels, trying to actually lift your toes at your lowest spot. Core pulled in, chest open. You can reach those arms out all the way as a counterbalance to the hips. Two and one. Bring it up, deep breath in. Try to get nice and tall. Again. All right. So, picking up my threes, just a, a little weight, not too heavy. As we start, tap side to side, tap and tap. So we don't want heavy weights for this one, even though you might feel like, hey, I can hang on to something heavy. We're gonna be extending away from our body. So we don't wanna have a heavy weight in our hands. Starting, bring the elbow up, shoulder level. Just extend out in front of you and again, like the front corner of the room. Look at the hips, they turn with you. Really point and squeeze down the back of your leg. Good. When you bring the arm back, the elbow comes back to the level of your shoulder. Now extend a bit more. As those of a shelf, you just can't quite reach it. So it's almost like I'm putting this on top of my Fireplace mantle. Engaging the core a bit more. And now we're going to turn and look. Reach, turn and look. Reach, turn and look. Making sure you lift up your feet. Point the toes in the direction your nose is going to turn into. Good. Two. And last one. Good, little march. So that wasn't really heavy to start, but you can feel it as we go a little bit into the move, it starts to get a little heavier and a little heavier. Anytime you're doing the move and you don't want weights at all, we still get lots out of doing this full range. So we're on the other side, but we start just with the front move. Reach to the front corner of your room. When you bring the elbow back, keep it at shoulder height. So this is how you can see if you're getting tired. If as you bring the arm back, you're starting to come down here, that's a little signal. So maybe you do it with no weight at all. Now pretend you're reaching. You extend a bit more from the hips. Core works. Good. Reach for that shelf that's just beyond your fingertips. And now we're gonna to open to the back. So bring the elbow and then turn. Open the arm, pivot at the elbow. Good. Toes are turning to the direction your nose is going to point in. So at no time should my toes be pointing forward, pointing to the sides. Good, two more. Getting heavy. One more. Good job. Give those shoulders a roll. Great work. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. Here we go. Feel like I'm doing laundry. So I'm gonna turn sideways just so that you can still see my position. And I'm gonna do alternate lunges forward. So my front knee, whoops, a little slippery. My front knee doesn't go past my toes. There we go. If you are working on a rug like I am, just be sure of your foot placement. Good. Now we're gonna add bicep curls. Because I hear the liquid sloshing around. Very important when you are using um, improvised weights. So, these two containers haven't been opened. Make sure I tighten the lid and they're exactly the same weight. Good. Squeeze those upper arms. Good. Four. Three, really squeeze those legs back together. Two. Last one. Really good. 
Okay, number 11 with those legs. We're gonna go into an over row. So we hinge from the hips, but we keep those knees slightly bent. We row with elbows up, squeezing in. We extend and do a deadlift. Over, row, extend, deadlift. Over, row, extend, deadlift. Over, row, extend, deadlift. Over, row, extend, deadlift. Good. I'm also noticing with my change in uh, what I'm using for weights, I have to go slower because they're less stable. So it's not like that perfectly shaped hand weight that I use in my gym. So making sure I've got a good grip, I don't want to go too quick. So maybe this is a good thing, it slowed me down. One more. Good. All right, second part of that move, we're just gonna do squats. Just start with the squat. And again, make sure your hips are going back. Weight digs into your heels, chest stays open. We go shoulder, press, shoulder, down. Shoulder, press, shoulder, down. Shoulder, press. I feel like I could do a commercial for Arm & Hammer. <laughs> Multiple uses for your laundry detergent. <laughs> Good. Up, squeeze those legs. Give me one more here. Good. All right, we're gonna go into the combination, the over row, then the squat push, squat stand. I'm not gonna load back up because I can't just drop those weights in the middle. So it's gonna be over, row, Extend, deadlift, squat push, squat stand, over row, deadlift up, squat push, squat stand, over row, deadlift up, squat push, squat stand, over row, last one, make it good, squat push, squat stand, yeah, really good guys, everyone, really good. Trying, trying not to use the word guys, so please, if I do, don't, don't hesitate to catch me on it. So, my front leg, I have a bent knee, it's almost like a lunge. My back leg, I'm up on the ball of the foot. My hand is down, it's kind of like the row we just did, but it's a one arm row. So hand goes down to the foot, elbow comes up behind. If I want to, I can intensify with a knee dip on the back leg, making sure the hips are actually going straight down, straight up, not forward and back. Good. Four, three, two, last one, step in. Whenever we do those steps in, just take the opportunity to squeeze those muscles a bit more. So again, switching to the other side, toes pointing straight ahead. You decide what you do with the back leg. You start with just leaning forward and do the arm only. And hey, maybe this side, maybe I've got an injury, I don't feel as strong, I've, there's a limitation, I can switch weights heavier or lighter. And again, here we go. Putting that back knee down. If that's what you choose, you don't have to. Pull it back. It's like you're trying to pin elbow up to the ceiling. Good. Four, three, two, last one. Ready? To stay almost in like in the over row position, but this time we're keeping the elbows high and pressing back with the hands. Pin those elbows up. Now, feeling like my elbows were dropping a little bit, so I'm lightening my weight. Rather work on form. 
Keep it high. Good. Four, three, two. Last one. Now, we're still going to keep the same weights in our hands, touching the legs back, still having a slight forward lean, and we start to reach out with our hands. So you've got something in your hands. I'm passing these weighted balls to somebody imaginary in front of me. And here we go. If we want to go slower, we really exaggerate the move. And maybe you can either go down. There's one option. You're going into a deeper lunge or it's a deep squat in between. So it's like a kick back. So two options there for you. A deep lunge to the back or a deep squat between each leg lift. Whatever feels good. Four, three, feel the core work. Two, last one. Very good. We're gonna go to a wide squat. And just go down and up before we add any weight. We're going to focus on inner thigh squeezing, glute squeezing, keeping the back straight, chest up, and knees not going over our toes. So at your lowest point right here, you can always see your toes past your knees. There you go. Ready to add. Your weight's coming out front. Shoulder height, out front. Don't forget to squeeze the legs. As soon as we start adding arm work, don't forget the legs. Good. If you want to, both hands can come out together. We might want to slow down so that we don't add momentum. Squeeze those legs. Good job. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Stand it up. Really good. We're going to tap those toes side to side again. You can load up a little bit on your weight if you want, because we're not going to take it out. We're going to go up and down and up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now we're going to bring in my left leg. My right hand has the ball. I'm bringing my left leg in for a tap, back out. So it's like a squat and then a tap. Squat, tap. Trying to stay nice and tall when I press the weight up. Next level of intensity is to lift the leg to the side. Notice upper body tries to stay in a straight line. Not like this. Try not to lean. Let's go back to correct. There we go. Squat down, out. Squat down, two more. Feel that one, yep. Good. Shake it out. Ready to go, second side. So we start with the tap, side to side. Make sure you're on your second side. Just starting the push, push and then curl. Push, curl. And again, you could have gone to heavier weights, and if you did, maybe you're going slower. From what I have to hang on to from a, a grip perspective, this is working best for me, so I'm keeping safe. Do that too. Start to bring in. This time it's my right leg that comes in and out. In and out. In and out. Squatting a bit more. Send the hips back. Good. Next level of intensity, leg lifts to the side, but we're not leaning. Stay straight up, straight up, good. Push, four, squat lower, two more. Oh, good job, really, really good. Okay. 
Don't make a phone call, but they're gonna have to wait. Into our squats. There we go, squeeze up, squeeze up. Bring the arms out. So again, we're away from our body. So we want to have maybe a little lighter weights because we're gonna go into bicep curls. And let's stop for a second because I was doing it wrong. I wanna curl in when I go low, there we go. Curl in when you go low. Good. What are we doing with those legs? Oh, let me see, can I hear you? I think I heard somebody say we're squeezing. Good. Yes. Four, squeeze tighter. Three, more, more, more. Two, we're gonna keep the legs going. Bring the arms down. Here's your option. Just hang them down here. That little bit of extra weight is there for the legs. When you're ready, bring those arms out. This time we're gonna curl into the chest. Trying to keep a straight line, elbow to elbow, across your shoulders. Again, depending on how much weight you have in your hand, you're gonna go slower maybe. Really intensify that squat. Four, three, two, last one. Keep the legs going. Use your arms, just hanging down. Or maybe you've just got them resting carefully on your thighs. We have one more set to do. And that's our tricep, curl under. Here we go, curl under and out. So we wanna keep the elbows up, but press the shoulders down. Lots to think about. And then don't forget the legs. Four, three, two, last one. Wow, that's great. Okay. I'm going a little heavier. And we're gonna go into a side lunge, one side, one side. So let's check our legs again. Knees don't go past our toes. This extended leg is not perfectly straight. There's a slight micro bend in the knee. Down, pull back. Down, pull back. Feel the rotation. So the chest faces towards your thigh, then forward. It's slow and controlled. Keep it safe. Now, I'm just gonna bring my leg in a bit closer because I might want to intensify. Intensify, that's the word. So I'm still going down into a lunge, but I bring the leg back when I bring the hand back. Maybe I also push up. Every time I add another move, it slows me down a little bit. That's okay. No race. You can also add a knee up. Feel the difference. A lot more work on the standing leg. Lunge, press. Two more. Really thankful that the lids on these containers are tight. Good. Get to the second side. Starting your lunge. So I usually start off quite deep in my lunge and I might have to adjust. But let's right now enjoy the rotation with control. I keep putting my hand on my core area because I can feel it supporting me as I stand up. And the back of your body as well. I'm gonna adjust my leg because I'm gonna bring it in. Lunge, bring it in. Lunge, bring it in. Maybe pressing, slowing down as the move it's maybe a little more complicated. Knee up if you want. Always watching how you land the foot back in your lunge. Letting the knee stay behind your toe. Two more. Last one. Really, really good. Okay, evening out our weight. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna double up on one side. 
We're going to go into our suitcase squats. So my free hand can be out to help me with balance. And I sit down for two and up for two. Down for two, up for two. So the entire move is not that difficult. The function of the move, what we're trying to do is resist this because we got more weight on one side. So what we're asking is the core to pull back against the weight. Down for two, up for two. Want to make it even a little more challenging? The foot that's closest to the weight, you might want to come forward on the toe, sitting back. So more weight is on. For me, it's my left leg. My right leg is forward. Also challenges my balance. One more. Good. And we're gonna switch on to the other side and then it's gonna be time to cool down. So load up on your second side, start into your squats. We're gonna change our count. Down for three, up on one. So three, two, one, stand up, squeeze. Three, two, one, stand up and squeeze. Stand up and squeeze. Good, send those hips back. And three, and up. If you want to, you can bring one leg forward. You keep your weight in the heel of the flat foot. So very little weight on that front leg if you've extended it. It's there just to help with balance. Can you feel it? Back thigh. One more. Three, two, one, stand up. Excellent work, everyone. Let's do a deep breath in and out and up and out. Stand on one leg. Just a little bit of balance work. We just did some, but a bit more. So standing on one leg, micro bend in that standing knee. And let's just pretend we're pulling on a string with our belly button. The string is attached to our knee and it is what gets the leg up and down. So the belly pulls the other string, pulls the knee. There we go. If you want, slowing down a little bit and adding in the rotation, which challenges your balance. You're asking a few different muscles to work. Two more, one more, good. Shake it out when you're ready, second side. Start with the knee up. When we're not doing rotation, let's focus on a few functional areas. So shoulders stacked over hips, stacked over heel, soft knee, chest open. Again, belly button pulling string, pulling knee. Then, when you've checked everything, you start to add the next level of intensity. Four, three, two, last one. Shake it all out. So lots of work for those big muscles, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. We're gonna come into a standing position. It's a nice long lunge. Look down at your feet and pretend you're drawing straight lines out from your toes and they need to be parallel. So often it's a comfortable stance with our back foot on an angle, but let's make sure that it is going straight ahead so it's better form. Press the back heel down, slightly bend the back knee. Press the heel again a little more without straightening that back leg and feel the stretch in your calf. Option, hands stay on your front thigh or you can even extend the arms and reach. Bring the hands back, shoulders back over your hips, up onto the ball of the back foot, little pelvic tilt and press your hip flexors forward. You can sink it down a little bit if you want. 
and bring the arm across your body, just turning to the front so you can see. I don't grab onto my elbow. Got my hand, my lower arm or upper arm, and my shoulder is relaxed down. Really feeling the stretch, hip flexor. Come on up. We're gonna turn sideways again. So the back leg comes in about halfway. Hands on the back thigh, sit back as though there's a chair. So I could actually even do this here, as though I'm gonna sit down on my couch. I extend my front leg. Soft knee, don't lock it out. I can reach, I can reach out. The deeper I sit without locking that knee, the more of a stretch I get. Toe down, roll up slowly and enjoy that rise up through the back. And we're gonna do everything again on the second side. So, making sure you switch whichever leg is front for you, you're on the second side. Press the heel of the back leg. Now bend the knee of the back leg. Now press the heel again, but don't lock the knee. Sometimes we think we don't have a locked knee until we deliberately bend it and then try and go into the move and deliberately keep it bent the entire time. You just feel the stretch a little differently. Here we go if you want. This might even challenge your balance a little bit. Bring those hands back, shoulders over your hips. Up onto the ball of your foot, back leg. Tuck and press forward, feel that hip flexor stretch. You can sink down a little bit if you want. Bring the arm across the front of your body, your hand, can connect on your lower arm, or your upper arm, not on your elbow, and your shoulder stays down. Come out of that, step in halfway, hands go on your back leg as though you're sitting in a chair, chest stays open, pivot on your heel, lift up those toes, knee soft, front leg. Again, you can reach for your toe, you can reach out front. Feel that stretch down the back of the extended leg. Good, toe down, roll up slowly. Yep, there we go. And we're gonna stretch our arms. So elbow pressing up towards the ceiling. Feel the stretch for the triceps. Bring it out, other side. Maybe one thing hasn't changed, I still go over. <laughs> Bring it out. Let's bring those hands in front. Look at the palms of your hands, thumbs pointing up. Round your shoulders. You can go into some really lousy posture here just to get the stretch and make it feel really good. Come out of that, shake it. Bring those arms forward again. This time I'm looking at the back of my hands. Lead with the heel of your palms. Feel the stretch down the back of your arms. Not so much bad posture through the shoulders on this one. We're still gonna correct what we did before. Bring it down. Bring the hands behind you. Grab on and now squeeze those shoulder blades together. You can stay here. You can try to lift. As we're doing this, we're trying to stay tall. Keep the chest open and reverse that hunch that we've had all morning, perhaps over our keyboard. Shake it out. Deep breath in. You can hold on to something, work on balance. One last stretch for the legs. We're gonna grab onto our foot, press forward with the hip flexor, stretching out through the front of your thigh. Those quads get a great stretch. Bring it down, deep breath in. And out, working on balance, grabbing something else. Maybe you need to turn to reach a chair or a table or a counter. Shake it out. So guys, people, sorry. People, I will be here Tuesdays until the gym is done being renovated. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.